so you guys remember the food plot that I had for the wild animals and we didn't harvest any of that corn that was on there and there were I mean there was a lot of corn and a few beans that were left over there look at that there's mullen growing out of the ground those mullen seeds just kind of popped out everywhere the mullen was not planted as part of the the wild animal food plot but because it's over here I'm gonna leave it look at that that's mullen and there's some right there and it's coming from that stalk right that's the only mullen that was out here and I planted it but look where all the seeds are, are coming up at look at there's one there's one <laughs> we're gonna have mullen all over the place right out here and that's awesome because we only used a couple of those leaves before they all went to seed so that's good anyway the wild animal food plot the deer have come through in the past um, three days now it's been raining non-stop and it's been really cold they've come through and they have eaten all the corn off of these stalks and they've eaten some of the stalks down actually no they left one ear <laughs> they left one ear of corn there might be a couple more in there somewhere but I'm not gonna go look so even though they didn't eat a lot of it during the peak season now that they're hungry I'm grateful that they're leaving my greens alone and going after this stuff that's farther out. So I guess you could say the wild animal food plot works. See you next time.